<laughs> Alrighty. So, welcome everybody to my hopefully not last scenario for the campaign. Uh, we are entering Black Star's Rise, which is a... Uh, I forgot I had that playing in the background. My bad. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, um, scenario seven of the Path to Carcosa is Black Star's Rise, and this is a, well, at least for me, a pretty infamously annoying scenario. So hopefully we come out on top today. Uh, let's see here. So moving into the setup instructions. Um, we have to add a minus five to the bag. And we also have to draw a weakness as well, which is already in my deck. And then there's a bunch of location setups. And then there's also a special thing in this scenario where you have to uh, set aside the two different versions of the act and agenda decks, or the two different agenda decks. And then you you have to figure out which objective you need to complete. So hopefully we can we can find out where we need to go, whether we need to go above or below. Um, there is an um, there is an incentive to go both ways because you can gain some extra victory points. But uh, survival is going to be the name of the game. Uh, getting to the last scenario is more important than. To, than a couple of victory points to me so so other than that i think there's some don't think there's really much else other than the, that so for now let's let's go ahead and talk about the changes to the deck that i've made um oops so going into the scenario i felt like i needed some extra sanity soak and I wanted a means of um, of just passing critical tests, so I ended up putting in a stroke of luck in my deck, and I ended up taking overpower out for a test of will, because now that we have cornered in our deck, every card is essentially in unexpected courage, so we can um, we can use test of will on critical things like a ancient evils at the right time and we still have a couple of leftover experience between the one i have now and hopefully the at least three or so that we gain throughout this scenario so uh with that let's go ahead and prove that i put a minus five into the bag here so this is the chaos bag going into the scenario uh the elder things or a minus two, which isn't too bad. We can usually be two up on most tests, so that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's see, and then I already did not. That's for the previous scenario. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and then so yeah, we can have a better look at the deck real quick here. Uh. The weakness that Scott drew was Through the Gates, so we'll be playing with Through the Gates. Uh, Plucky's kind of an interesting choice because in this deck in particular, with combination of Scrapper, it's actually pretty much just an improved um, Arcane Studies. We have Duke in play pretty much at all times to, to hopefully soak a Sanity if we need to before assigning it to this card. And now that we have uh, both copies of Peter level 2 in our deck, it should also pretty much stay in play for the entire course of the scenario. Um, other changes, like I said, we I put in Test of Will. This is hopefully going to be uh, a game changer. We don't draw an untimely Ancient Evils or something annoying like that. Uh, I took a physical trauma in Pallet Mask because we, we unfortunately ended up getting stuck, but somehow in the last second we were man managed to find our escape. And yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and move into the board here. 
So we have to randomize some of these locations. So we'll start with the broken steps here. And that goes there. And then we're in the tower. All right, we start here. Now let's get into the other nonsense here. So you're supposed to shuffle the bag, draw one of the two bags and auto place it, and then discard the chest. Oh, discard the other chest and don't flip the agendas unless instructed. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give this a shuffle. All right, and then we will place. Okay. So I believe that is that. These two locations are here for later on in the game, I believe. Uh, let's just double check here, though, real quick. So you choose, yeah, you choose one of those two locations at random instead of the side, and then the other version uh, is removed from the game. Oh, there's so much little setup with this scenario, it's annoying. All right, so that is set aside. We have two five Doom agendas, and we can spend one clue to place a Doom on an agenda on either one. This one, the Tide Rises, gives us two resources when we do so, and this one lets us draw a card when we do so. I think other than that, we are all set to start the game here, so let's go ahead and shuffle our deck, draw our opening hand. Ooh, that is a pretty sweet hand. We don't need these two cards. I don't know why it does that. Uh, hmm. Do we want to keep Test of Will? Probably not. But these two cards are sweet. So let's go ahead and draw three new cards here. Ooh, wow. Really could not ask for much better of a hand there. That's pretty sweet. All right, and we are we are on turn one here. And let's also clear off these clues just for clarity's sake here. Huh. Wow, what a hand. Um well let's start by let's start by setting up the locations. Dirt to dirt. And then flip this over here. Alright. So we start here at this port. It has one clue, three shroud. You can spend two actions to move a doom from one agenda to the other and then place two clues on this location from the token bank. Hmm. All right. Well, probably not really that useful. My plan basically is just to dart up to these two locations, get the clues that we need to open this place, and and then go from there. So so I guess let's let's spend our first turn here getting set up. Now, first action. Go ahead and play cornered. Oh, jeez, we have so much stuff. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. All right, let's use our second action here. Two more resources to play Madame LeBranche. And then we can spend a resource, and this is fast. So we can actually just play this and put that in our arcane slot, I guess. Just do that. There we go. All right. So this is pretty much arcane studies, but it has a horror soak if necessary, and we can uh, we can play it as fast. So that's pretty sweet. It's also one resource less too. So um, actually starting to come around on this particular composure. Uh, not really sure about the other ones, but uh, let's go ahead and spend our last action to play Drawing Thin. And then that'll be our investigation phase. There are no enemies, and then we'll move into upkeep here. And I should have gained a resource. That was stupid, but that's okay. And then we'll go ahead and draw a card. And then we'll go to turn two. And we'll go into Mythos phase. We will add a Doom to the agenda. I guess we'll add it to to that one. We'll add it to 1A. 
And then let's go ahead and make sure we give that a shuffle. And we will draw a counter card. Oh, gross. Uh, awful. All right. Um, hmm. Evading it is an option, I guess. Let's... Yeah, fighting that thing is... It doesn't have hunters, so we could just evade it and move. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so first action, we'll evade this. Uh, we started a base of t three. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend a resource with Scrapper. We will tap Mana will Branch to gain a resource. Spend another one. Uh, so that'll be three, four, five versus two. Uh, yeah, five versus two should be good. <laughs> of course. All right, so we fail at first evade. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, action number two, we'll go ahead and evade again. I will pitch Madeline Branch to cornered for plus two, so that's going to be five versus two again. Chaos Bag says minus one. Okay, so that would be a four to two. Uh, so we evade it, and then we still take a horror, unfortunately. Which we will put a Madeline Branch. This guy is evaded, unfortunately, though. And then we'll spend our last action to move. So we move into this location. One shroud, one clue. Forced after you succeed a skill test by one or one or less while investigating here, you place a doom on the agenda with the most doom. All right, so that was our turn. So enemy phase, this guy will ready. And then we will move into upkeep here. So that was enemy phase and then upkeep. Uh, we'll go ahead and refresh. Gain a resource and draw a card. Ooh, fun. All right, so go ahead and draw the top card of our deck, which is a last chance. So this gets removed from the game along with our other copy. Not the end of the world. And then, obviously, I would have seen you shuffle your deck. All right, well, so it's turn three now. Mythos phase. Huh. Um, let's go ahead and put a doom here. And then we'll go ahead and draw a card. Test agility three if you fail. Agenda 1A is in play. Take a damage and lose an action. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's brutal. Uh, hmm. Test agility 3. Uh, I'm... Am I okay with taking a damage and losing an action? I think so. V3, V3. Here you go, 4. Could also just do this too. Hmm. Wow, that's that's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this on the chin for now. I want to hold on to this test of will for something a little more critical. So I'm just gonna take this on the chin, but I will use drawing thin on it to increase it to a five and gain two resources. I feel like I'm going to need them for investigation checks. So we're going to test 5v3 here, Chaos Bug says auto fail. So really glad I didn't commit anything. We've already drawn two auto fails. All right, so we take a damage and lose an action. Sorry, man, little branch. All right, so investigation phase. Um, hmm. 
Oops. Uh, hmm. I guess I will... Let's spend our first action to Duke. Move and investigate here. So go ahead and flip this over. So it's a two shroud, two clue. Forest, after one more doom is placed on the sea agenda, each investigator at the North Tower takes one horror. All right, so that's two V four. Two V four, and let's go ahead and... Do I wanna spend a resource? I think I do. That'd be, that'd be five. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's just go five. But we'll spend a resource with Plucky to increase their intellect. So that'd be five v two. Chaos Bake says. Elder thing. That's a minus two. So we pass. So we'll take one of these clues. And then let's go ahead. I really want to hold on to this, which really kind of makes. Uh, Makes a lot of my deck kind of, kind of useless, but let's let's just go ahead and pitch it to Pete to refresh Duke. And I think I want to actually move and investigate here because I don't want to take horror if necessary. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move here and investigate. Four shroud, one clue. While the current C agenda has more doom on it than the A agenda, double the number of skill icons committed to test at the outer wall. All right, well, that's not going to happen, but we are still investigating here. Uh, so that was first action, move, investigate. Second action, move, investigate. All right, so we are testing 4v4 currently. Let's go ahead and use minimal branch to draw a card. Okay, we draw a rabbit's foot, not bad. Uh, but let's go ahead and... That should be tapped, I apologize. And let's just spend two resources for now. We'll spend two resources to go six, so that'll be six v four, Chaos Big says. Minus two, very nice. All right, so we pass. We'll go ahead and get this clue. And then, so we have one action left, right? Because we spent our first action to move and investigate. Our second action was to move and investigate. And then with our third action, let's... We don't have any more resources. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a card with our last action. Okay. Live and learn is a good card to have. Enemy phase. This guy does not have Hunter, so he stays there. We're at the outer wall. So let's go ahead and move into upkeep here. Gain a resource and draw a card. Draw a resourceful. It's pretty handy. And let's go ahead and refresh our stuff here. All right. And then Mythos Phase, turn four. Let's go ahead and add a Doom to this agenda here. And then let's go ahead and draw an encounter card. Spires, gross. Attach to your location, then place two Doom on that location. Ugh. All right, that sucks. Oh, they go on the location. Either way, all right, so let's go ahead and put this here. Hmm. Is that worth trying to get rid of? Probably not, not out of four shroud. I think we're just gonna have to suck that up, unfortunately. All right, well, that sucks. Because we can't use Duke, because Duke is his own special thing. But let's, speaking of Duke, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and get into investigation phase here. Uh, let's use our first action to play Rabbit's Foot. And then let's use our second action 
uh, to move and investigate back to the North Tower with Duke. So we'll go here and investigate. Uh, that's going to be 2v4. And then I'm going to commit resourceful as well. So it's going to be 2v5. Anything else I want to do? Um, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to use Man of LeBranche to gain a resource. And then we'll go ahead and use that resource into Plucky. And then that's going to be 5v2 or 6v2. Uh, Chaos Pack says a skull. Uh, skull is currently in minus X, where X is the highest amount of Doom on an agenda in play, which I believe is currently 2. Yep. So minus 2, so we pass. So I get a clue, and then I will take this test of will back into my hand. Oops. And then we get this clue here. All right, so we have the clues we need to go into the Abbey Church, but I think we want to. I think we want to move there now. Actually, if I remember correctly, uh, one of the location, the one of the Broken Grounds locations makes you uh, discard uh, discard cards or lose actions or something like that. Uh, hmm. Alternatively, I could draw a card. I could try to investigate and then just do this. So I think with my last action, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to investigate the location I'm at. And we'll go ahead and drawing thin to gain two resources. So that'll be a 4v2, Chaos Bag says. A zero, so we fail. And then we'll go ahead and tap this. And we'll draw a card. Let me draw the tattered cloak. All right, so that was our investigation phase. And then enemy phase, this guy still doesn't move on the C agenda. Okay. So we don't want to place doom on the C agenda, but we move from enemy phase into upkeep where we will refresh everything. Apologies here. I don't know why I don't know the, uh, the shortcut there. So we'll gain a resource, draw a card. Peter, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and gain our actions back. Let's go to turn five here. And let's place a Doom on the A agenda. All right. Um, go ahead and draw an encounter card entering the Mythos phase here. Place to doom on the blah 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 blah. All right, so this gains surge. I know. If no cultist enemies are in place, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just pull this acolyte out. Okay. So he spawns at an empty location. We enter play with a doom on him. So let's go ahead and take this guy here. And let's put him here so we can quickly deal with him. And that'll be the mythos phase here. Uh, let's see. Investigation phase. I think I want to start by playing Peter before I do anything else. So let's, let's spend three resources in action. And let's play Peter here. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and move and investigate with Duke. So we're going to go here. So this location will flip. Forced, after you enter here, you must either lose an action or draw the topmost omen uh, treachery in the encounter discard pile. Now let's see if there even is any. Yes, uh, it's that agility test. Gross. The one that makes you take a damage and lose an action. So we either lose an action or potentially lose an action. Now, we currently have an agility 4. Um, wow, that's a gamble. Uh, so... I'm, I think I'm going to draw it. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll draw this. 
and we'll test. It's going to be agility three versus four currently. And then I'm going to discard Tattered Cloak. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and discard Tattered Cloak to cornered for plus two. So it's going to be uh, four, five, six versus three. Chaos Bag says minus two. Whew. All right, so we pass. That gets discarded. So we enter the location, and then this Acolyte will engage us. And let's hmm, use a three. We take a damage. Hmm. I do kind of want to fight him here. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and pitch this Tust of Will again to Ready Duke, and then we'll fight with our last action. That will be um, four v three currently. And I'll use Manimal Branch to gain a resource. And then we'll make it 5v3 here. All right, so 5v3, Chaos Bag says. Ah, of course. Minus three, so I fail. I'll go ahead and draw a card here. Uh, wow, brutal. All right. Um. I'm going to go ahead and live and learn here. So I'm going to try that again. So that'll be six. Yeah. Uh, six V three chaos big says zero. All right. So he's defeated. All right. So that was rough. Oops. That was strange. All right. Uh, so that was a awkward investigation phase. Uh, enemy phase, there are still no enemies that have Hunter. That guy just kind of sits there. And then we'll move into upkeep. Already our stuff. We'll gain a resource and draw a card here. And draw a second copy of Plucky. All right, let's gain our actions back. Six, turn six, uh, Mythos phase. Then we have to add some doom. All right, so one of these is going to advance. It's just a matter of which one do I want to advance. Um, because we have that spires in play, remember? Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, coin flip is gonna say I'm gonna say A. So we'll go ahead and add a third doom here, and then that one will advance. Let me just do this. Oops. Yep. And then this will get discarded. And then this will advance. All right. So we shuffle the encounter discard pile and both set aside copies of Title Terror into the encounter deck. Let's see, Title Terror. And the encounter discard pile, correct? Yes. All right, so give that a good shuffly shuffly. And then let's see here, check the current C agenda. If it's agenda one C has two or fewer doom on it, mark one conviction in your campaign log. If agenda A has three or more doom one, mark one doubt. Okay, so we have to mark one conviction in our campaign log. And then that's it. Okay. So this has a doom threshold of six. Each copy of Ancient Evils gains Surge. Uh, investigators can spend a clue. I can spend a clue to place a doom on this agenda, and this effect can cause the agenda to advance. Each investigator gains two resources. So still the same, same deal. All right, well, let's go ahead and, excuse me, let's go ahead and draw our encounter card for the turn here. Another Acolyte. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn him here. 
and then we'll put a doom on him. All right, well, this is fun. Um, let's let's go ahead and move into investigation phase here. Um. Hmm. This kind of sucks. I'm gonna, just going to ignore this, like I have been pretty much for the entire campaign. Um, yeah, I guess first action, we'll go ahead and move here. And then I have I have the clues. We'll spend those. And we'll move here. If there are two agendas in play with different agenda numbers, it gets plus two shroud. Forced. Uh, when the Abbey Church is revealed, you put the set aside Gothique, Knights Hall, Cloister, Chapel of St. Aubert, and the Abbey Tower locations into play. All right, so just give me one second here to folks while I go ahead and do this. So this is put into play, and then... This, 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 and this also get put into play. And let's, let's just start putting them down here, I guess. And put one there. Put one there. We'll put one there. And then I guess we'll put one there. And then this is here. Oops. Okay, I think I did that correctly. Right, because it's just kind of connected to all these locations. Okay, um, hmm. That is a plus two shroud. I could have moved and investigated, but I think I'm gonna fight. So this guy will engage us. So our first action was move. Our second action is going to be to fight. Uh, that's going to be, let's see, 4v3 currently. We'll make it a 5, and then we'll tap my little branch to gain a resource. Make it a 6. A uh, 6v3 to fight, Chaos Bike says. A 0. Very cool. This guy gets defeated. That was our second action. And then, let's see here, third action. Let's for now, let's go ahead and move into the Knight's Hall. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this to Pete. We'll, we'll go ahead and use Duke again. And we're going to move and investigate into the Knight's Hall. All right, so that spawns with one clue. Investigate, or it has an action that says if there's no clues here, you investigate. Investigate using your agility instead of intellect. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, remember that you have found the tower key. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this investigate 2v4. And I kind of want to just pass it, so let's not let's not mess with it. Two v four K S bike says plus one for very nice. Oops. And we'll go ahead and take this. Chaos bag has been it's well chaotic, I guess today. Two auto fails, a plus one. No elder sign. That would be nice, but that's my turn. Yep, because we move and investigated. So it was move. Fight, move, investigate. All right, uh, enemies. We still only have that one guy just just sitting down there. Think, thankfully. So we'll just go ahead and move into upkeep here. And we'll gain a resource and draw a card. Draw a magnifying glass. It could be useful. Uh, not really sure though. The uh, turn seven. Mythos phase. Let's go ahead and put a doom here. And we will draw an encounter card. Twisted to his will. 
Oh, well, there's definitely Doom in play. There's three Doom currently. Uh, otherwise, so we test Willpower three, and then if we fail, we discard two cards from our hand at random. Oh, well, that's honestly not the end of the world. We don't take any horror, right? Uh, I'm pretty okay with that. Because <laughs> I can just draw another card. So I'm going to make this a five. I'm going to go ahead and gain two resources. And then we're going to test a 5v5 here. And Chaos Big says minus one. So we do fail. So we discard a card. Because we only have one card. And then after we fail a test, we'll go ahead and do this. And then we will draw a card. And we draw our second copy of Cornered. Okay, so that was Mythos phase. Let's go ahead and go into investigation phase here. Um, I want to do that investigate action that's on the location on the Knight's Hall. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Uh, we're currently at a four with the help of Peter. Uh, so that'd be a, what, 2v4 with agility? I like those odds. I think I'm just going to test it as is. So we'll go ahead and investigate with our agility. That's going to be 2v4. Uh, let's spend a resource and make it 2v5. All right, 2v5, Chaos Big says. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. All right, uh, let's just try it again here. Um... Yeah, we'll spend another resource, and 2v5, Chaos Big says. All right, Elder Sign. Of course, I draw it at an inopportune time. So it's a plus two, so we still pass. Um, I'm going to put this resource token uh, on Pete to remember that we have found the tower key. Actually, I'll put it on the location. So we have found the tower key. All right. And then this is connected to here. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to move and investigate here. So we'll go ahead and move into the cloister. We'll move and investigate. Uh, that's going to be a 2v4. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I apologize. I don't know what I was thinking there. Jeez, just messing everything up here. Hold on. All right, so we're investigating here. That's 2v4 with Pete, or with Duke, rather. And I'm going to... Bend a resource to make it a uh, five, and then I'll use Manable Branch to gain a resource. All right, so investigating 2v5, Chaos Bike says. Minus one, very cool. We pass, we'll get a clue. Um, Let's, I'm doing pretty good. My setup's pretty, pretty on top at this point. Um. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spend a clue on this agenda here. So we'll spend a clue to place a Doom here. And then that'll let me draw a card. That's a group limit once per round. All right, so we'll go ahead and draw a card because of that. We draw the man in the pallet mask. Wow, OK. Uh, where does he spawn? He spawns are really far away. I believe that would be here. Right? One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Uh, that would be three. Yeah, so he has to spawn here. All right. Well, uh, so much for that. We're not doing that. Uh, but that's okay. Um, enemy phase. Neither of these guys really do anything. They just kind of hang out. So we'll go ahead and move into upkeep here. That was enemy phase upkeep. Gain a resource, draw a card. Ready or stuff. Oh my, what the hell? All right, never mind. All right, well, change of plans.
Okay. Uh, God, that weakness is pretty brutal. So we'll go ahead and flip those over. We'll move into turn eight here. And then we're going to go ahead and put a doom here in advance. Ah! Oh my god. Alright. So, uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile and both set aside Rift Seekers into the encounter deck. Check the current A agenda. Uh, it currently has zero. Uh, so we would mark one conviction. Uh, so these, along with the encounter discard pile, get shuffled. And then we mark one conviction. Alrighty. And then that is it. And then this also has a uh, six doom threshold. Each monster enemy gains plus one fight. Ugh, brutal. All right. Well, that's gonna that's gonna suck. All right. Make sure we give that a good shuffle here, and let's go ahead and draw our encounter card here. Another twisted to his will, and there's no doom in play. So that will gain Surge. Ancient Evils, which I believe also gained Surge, but we'll go ahead and place a Doom here. Yeah, and Ancient Evils gained Surge. Gross. Hunted by Bayaki. Test Agility 6. If you fail, reveal the top X card to the encounter deck where X is the amount you failed by. If at least one Bayaki enemy is revealed, choose and draw them. If at least one Omen Treachery is revealed, take a horror. Okay, so we have a 4, 4v6. Four Let's just go ahead and test. <laughs> of course. All right, so we have to reveal the top six. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so there was a Bayaki and an Omen. So we have to take a horror and draw this enemy. Ugh, gross. All right, um, let me just double check here. Just reveal them, right? Yeah, reveal the top X and then Okay, and then you shuffle them back into the encounter deck. And give that a shuffle, and this guy will be drawn. All right, so he has a forced effect. After Rift Seeker attacks, you must either take an additional damage and additional horror, or place a Doom on each agenda in play. And then you can spend an action to place one Doom on each agenda in play and take two horror and discard it. Um, hmm. As a parlay action. I don't mind doing that. Let's, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll spend our first action to do that. It's going to be taking two horror. So we'll just put on Peter here. Thanks, buddy. And then we place a Doom on each agenda. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick here. Did I fuck that up? God damn it. I did. I wouldn't have gained Surge. Well, I'm really dumb. Oh no, that was placed on because of Ancient Evils. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, so that's that's correct. I'm not going crazy, and then we're going to have to spend our next two actions to get rid of this. And then that's going to be my turn. Uh, enemy phase. There's still no enemies that move around the board, fortunately. It's pretty clear for the time being. 
So we'll go ahead and move into upkeep, where I will finally ready all of my stuff. And we will draw, gain a resource, and draw a card here. Oh, nice. The other uh, test of will. That actually might come in handy. All right, so uh, nine, turn nine. Let's go ahead and place a doom here. I'm just going to use this to make it easier. All right, uh, encounter card. All right, so he spawns at any empty location. Uh, this will heal. I know, I always do it at the beginning of my turn, because for some reason, because that's when I remember. And let's go ahead and... Let's... That's just different numbers, right? Yeah. I'm going to spawn him in the Abbey Church here. So we can still get there. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, that was Mythos phase. Let's go ahead and move into Investigation phase. Uh, I'm going to spend an action, and I'm going to do that parlay that's on there. Uh, that is a 3v5. And then I will go ahead and pitch cornered for plus 2. 2 cornered. Uh, right? Just will, yep. Will power 3. Uh, I have a 5, 6, 7. 7v3, Chaos Bike says. Minus three. Yeah, that's why we pitch things. So we'll go ahead and remember that we uh, spoke to the guide. Or we found a guide, rather. All right, let's go ahead and use our second action. And let's go ahead and move and investigate. And we will go here. Okay, we'll engage us. So we're investigating currently a three shroud location with a four. And do I want to do this? Let's see. Uh, I don't want to do it for a card. So it'd be a 5v4, and then we could pump four resources into it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to make that a five. We'll go ahead and draw a card. <sighs> God damn it. All right, so let's see here. We have, I think we have the same amount. So you have more equal doubt. Uh, doubt the conviction. You test intellect X where X is your, oh, X is your real power if you fail. All right. So we have to test uh, intellect five. Gross. Uh, that's not happening. So we're just going to take that on the chin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take that on the chin, unfortunately. Well, that stinks. Well, at least we've gotten all the weaknesses out of the way. Uh, so we're still investigating here. Uh, still at a uh, 5v4 here. And then we'll go ahead and spend three resources to plucky and then we'll go ahead and tap mana will branch and we will gain a resource and spend that into plucky as well so that's a plus four so our eight v five here chaos bag says minus two so we pass let's go ahead and get this clue here so the reason i wanted to draw a card there was because i wanted to pitch it and then fight and save this that's kind of been my my goal here, but I might just pitch it anyway. Alternatively, I could try to evade this guy for a turn and fight him next turn, which isn't the end of the world. If I fail, I draw a card, and I would have to take a damage. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Let's evade two v four. Last action here, chaos bag says a minus two, which is a pass. So we pass. This guy gets evaded, and then that's the last of our investigation phase here. 
I don't think I want to spend clues just yet. Let's let's wait here. All right. Uh, enemy phase. This guy will ready and re-engage us. And then upkeep phase. We'll go ahead and gain a resource and draw a card. And then we'll ready our st stuff here. It's been quite brutal. All right. So we have a lucky and a test of will. Oh, really can't ask for much more here. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. All right, let's turn 10 here. Let's go ahead and gain our actions back. Let's go ahead and add a doom to an agenda. Go ahead and add it here, I guess. And then we'll go ahead and draw our encounter card. Crashing, oh my goodness, this card sucks. Okay, so test agility three, we're currently at a four. Uh, if agenda two A is in play, which it is, we take two damage and lose two actions. Uh, that? <laughs> I'm going to cancel that and exile this, because screw that. That seems worth it to me. And it's each monster enemy gains plus one fight, so. Currently, this is still a three. Okay, um, we are in investigation phase here. Let's go ahead and use Manual Branch to gain a resource so we can play this lucky. Let's use our first action to use Duke and fight. Uh, it's going to be a four, correct? Yep, four v three here. And I'm going to hold on to this. Nice, so we pass. This guy will be defeated. All right, that was our first action. Uh, second action, let's... All right, that's how we get there. Yeah, all right, so let's... I don't want to discard it, so I'm just going to use my second action to move here. Spawns with a clue, three shroud. It has an action that places a doom in the current sea agenda to heal to horror. Speaking of healing horror, why do I always forget? <laughs> all right um yeah so i think with our last action we could just investigate drawing the other thing sucks because i really don't want to draw an enemy right now it wasn't so bad for the first couple of turns but now now going into that Risky strategy is not so useful. Um, I think with my last action, I'm just going to draw a card. Yeah, I know it's not exactly ideal, but I don't need resources right now, so let's draw a card. Another copy of Drawing Thin. Okay. All right, um, so enemy phase. We still only have these guys here. They don't do anything. So we'll go ahead and move into upkeep. We'll gain a resource and draw another card here. We draw a second copy of Rabbit's Foot. So we'll go ahead and ready our stuff here. And gain our actions back. Sorry about that. And then we'll move into turn 11 here. And these are still six. So I'm going to be wishy-washy. We'll place a Doom here, and we'll go ahead and draw an encounter card. I think I want to find, I want to find where I need to go first before I, before I start spending my clues to advance. So we'll go ahead and draw our encounter card. We draw, oh my goodness, so many cultists. Uh, let's put him up here, I guess. Yeah, we'll put him up there. And then we'll put a doom on him. All right, so that was Mythos phase. Let's go ahead and move into Investigation phase. Um, first action. Let's use Duke. Oops. We'll use Duke to move and investigate. We have found a guide, so we went here. Let's flip this over. 
Three clues, two shroud, two victory points. This guy will engage us. But we're still investigating 2v4 here. I uh, don't think I need to commit anything else. So let's just go ahead and test 2v4, Chaos Spike says. Actually, I think I'll commit a resource. 2v5. Uh, Chaos Spike says. Skull, which I believe is a minus three. Ha ha! Aha! That's why we did that. Alright, so I gain a clue. Then this guy's engaged to us, so let's go ahead and pitch. I don't really think we're going to need a second rabbit's foot. So we'll pitch that. Already Duke again. We'll use our second action to go ahead and fight the cultist. That's going to be a... Uh, wow, 4v3 here. And... We'll go ahead and make it a 5v3, and then we'll use Manimal Branch to gain another resource. Uh, yeah, so 5v3, Chaos Bike says. Zero. Very cool. This guy is defeated. That was our second action. And then third action... Um, we could honestly try to investigate. To try to nab another clue. Well, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and pitch. We're going to use our last action to investigate. We're going to pitch this to cornered for plus two. That's going to be a 4v2, Chaos Bake says. Elder Sign. Wish I had drawn that last test. All right, so we pass and get a clue. So I believe we need to go... To the Abbey Tower, so I believe now we need now we know where we need to go. So, I, I, wow, I really wish I had remembered more of the scenario. Um, I admittedly didn't do a test run of it, um, but I believe you need to be here in order to advance. So, so yeah, uh, I believe that's the tower, the way above. Um, let's just double check. Yeah, so I think we want to advance this one. Um, so let's... I'm actually going to go ahead and now spend a clue. And we're going to go ahead and do that action. Or fast action, rather. And I will get to draw a card and add a doom. So we draw a resourceful, and we'll add a doom here. And then that'll be my investigation phase. And as you can see, still no enemies. And then we'll move into upkeep here. And we'll gain a resource and draw a card. Draw a stroke of luck. That's pretty good. All right. Um. Oops. We'll go ahead and... <laughs> My goodness. All right, turn 12. I will... I think I still need a clue, right? Yeah. We still need to get a clue there, but that's okay. I think we can use an action to get that. Uh, I will place a Doom here. And then let's go ahead and draw an encounter card. Draw a Bayaki. Prey us... Hunter retaliate when it would move via the hunter keyword instead of instead move it one location at a time until it enters its prey's location. If it moved more than one location, it does not attack. Okay. All right. Well, fine. Then I guess we'll deal with you first. So that's going to be a four v two. We'll make it a five v two with this. And yeah, 5v2, Chaos Bag says minus one. Takes two damage. And do we want to pitch a card to do Duke again? Or do I want to just try to. I think I do. I'm going to go ahead and pitch this resourceful to ready Duke. 
That was my first action. Second action, we'll go ahead and use Duke again. And then we will spend a resource. And we will gain a resource. And that's going to be a 5. Uh, yep, yeah, 5v4 here, Chaos Bike says. Elder Sign. Aptly timed this time. Very nice. This guy will take another 2 damage and be defeated. And let's go ahead and use our last action to investigate our location. Because we're still here at the chapel. Uh, we're currently investigating at a 4v2. And we will keep it that way because we have this lucky in our hand. Let's go ahead and test 4v2, Chaos Mike says. <laughs> what? What is happening? So many Elder Sides. All right, well... That's a, th that's a thing, I guess. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that clue. Already Duke. Not that it matters. Get this last clue here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and actually spend a clue here and do that, um, that card again. This one here. Because it doesn't say it will advance the agenda. Alternatively, I could spend it here and gain two resources. Um, yeah, let's... I don't think I need... Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. I'll place it in Doom here. And we'll go ahead and draw a card here. Second copy of Lucky. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was investigation phase and then enemy phase. As you can see, there are still no enemies that hunt us. We managed to defeat the Bayaki. And then we'll move into upkeep where we will gain a resource and draw a card. Draw a take heart. And, hmm, we'll gain our, whoops, I don't know why I always do that. Gain our actions back. We'll go ahead and refresh. And turn 13. Let's go ahead and advance. And we'll also add a doom here, I guess. Woo! All right, the ritual is almost complete. All that is left is to find the gate and step through. Uh, for the remainder... Oh, remove remove the remainder of this agenda deck from the game and replace it with Act C3. Advance to that Act card. All right. Huh, bye bye now. I think it's this one, right? We're at the chapel, right? If each invest each undefeated investigator is at the Abbey Tower and there are no clues on the location, we advance. All right, and we placed a doom here because it was at three, and then we went to four, and then we have to draw an encounter card. Uh, I am at the chapel. All right, we're doing pretty good. I was, you know, I'm pretty surprised. Let's go ahead and draw our encounter card, though. Black stars rise. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Why I placed the Doom in the other agenda was beyond me. Um. And we'll advance next turn. If we do that. Alternatively. Oh, I'd have to take a bunch of horror. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty okay with failing this, actually. So let's just go ahead and pump that up. we we'll get into resources. That's going to be an intellect 6 versus 2. Chaos Spike says, minus 1. We fail, and then after we fail, we get to draw a card, and then we're going to add a Doom to that agenda there. It is what it is, but we know where we need to go, and hopefully we should have enough time to get there. All right, that was Mythos phase, and then we'll move here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is play a flashlight. 
faux free because I can do that. Let's. Why? Why didn't I? What the? Whatever. I have cornered. <laughs> oh my god. Why I didn't do this? I don't know. Don't look at me like that. I know you're looking at me like that. It's all part of my master plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sure it is. All right, let's go ahead and move here. We can move right here to here. Yep. Spend our second action with Duke to move and investigate. Two clues. You can only discover clues if there are... What? Are you kidding me? All right, well, so we're investigating 3v4 here. Uh, I guess now I can use this take heart, because now we can try to fail. All right, uh, 3v4, Chaos Bag says, or 3v5. Uh, maybe I don't want to commit that, because we're so high up. 3v5, I could gamble it, but then it just, yeah. Well, we need to lose cards anyway, so let's, let's do that. Let's pitch that. Um, like, I'd have to pitch all of my cards. And I can only use this once. So we're just going to use this and then hope for the bad. No, we'll pitch it. We'll pitch it to cornered, I guess. Uh, yeah. So that was plus two. So we were at a five. Yeah, we definitely passed. But we don't get anything out of it. Ah, uh, that stinks. Hmm. Because we're just going to draw a card during upkeep, so... I think with our last action, we just gain a resource. Exhilarating. I wouldn't have been able to have four cards in my hand anyway. Uh, so I guess I'd discard that. because I'd only be able to have three cards, so. Okay, uh, yeah, so I gained a resource. That was my investigation phase. Uh, enemy phase, still nothing. And then let's go ahead and move into upkeep. Gain a resource and draw a card. Draw my second take art. It's bound to get there at some point. 14, mythos phase. We will advance this. Spawn the set aside Beast of Alderaan enemy at the Ebby Tower. And then Ashley gets spawned. Uh, she spawns at the port. Okay. Right, so she spawns here. And then he spawns up here. All right. And then I have to draw an encounter card. Spawns at the port or the chapel. Yes, Hunter. Uh, he's going to spawn at the port. So away with you. But now I actually have to pay attention during enemy phase. Okay, um, I need to quickly get rid of the, my cards in my hand here, which I can pretty easily do. It'll unfortunately mean I don't really... I'll have to use my resources later. It's all size. Oh, it doesn't have Hunter. It's just big. I don't think I really want to waste my time doing that. All right, um, yeah, so let's, I could just spend an action to discard my hand and go from there. I think, so I think what I'm gonna do here, cause I should have readied my stuff, so apologies about that.
Um, hmm. I think what I would do is I discard two cards and keep keep one to pitch to cornered. So we'll spend our first action to do that. And then that's going to be that's going to be our first action and then second action we'll go ahead and investigate actually you might want to just investigate here first so let's just investigate we'll pitch corner or take heart to cornered uh we're just investigating with regular old p here so that's a three four we'll make it a five six six v three 7v3, chaos mm, 8v3? Yeah, we'll make it an 8v3, right? Just gonna, oops, wow. Three shroud, yeah, three shroud. Three shroud, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Chaos spike says zero, very nice, we pass. Go ahead and get this clue here. And then second action, let's use Duke to investigate that location. Or third action, we'll use Duke to investigate that location. I will draw a card, which I will pitch to cornered. Three plus two, that's going to be six, seven. Yes, six, seven. We draw minus one. So we get this. And then we are able to advance. And we get resolution two. Alrighty. Well, nice. Usually I really hate this scenario because of that random flip flop. And a lot of the time I don't I don't usually do that well in the beginning there. Even sufficed my uh horrendous encounter draws. And I also didn't need to use this uh fast action that Ashley gives you where you're able to remove a doom from an agenda. I usually try to save that until the end when you're in that situation where you, you just need it. But let's go ahead and see what resolution 2 is. Uh, so we opened the path above and then we add two cultists to our bag and then we earn victory X. Alright. Very nice. Oops. So we opened the oops, opened the path above. I kind of was hoping to get another conviction. Honestly, we sh maybe should have waited a turn, but with all those enemies, I don't think it was worth it. All right. So so yeah. Uh, let's just double check how much victory points we got here. Uh, we got one here. We got another one here, we got a third one here, and then we got four, five. So, not bad. So we got five victory points, and yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I think with that, I'm going to end today's game. It'll be one, two, three, four, and five. So we have 6 XP going into the lost scenario, and we did use a test of will. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another test of will in the deck. I may put a stroke of luck. I'm not sure. But I think test of will is going to be a little more useful. Alternatively, I could I could put in like a deny existence or a word of protection or something. But I'm not sure. Deny existence might be specifically useful because you can... um. You can use it to ward off certain cards or, you know, avoid taking a ton of horror at once from the Big H himself. But I think with that, uh, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you have.